when we see people for the first time, they're often quite surprised and shocked at the things that we teach them. And it's really simple stuff that we do for a living. It's critical for anybody that doesn't want the risk of retiring in poverty to have a plan and to start thinking about how they can put things in place to make sure that they've got enough to have a simple but comfortable life in the next 20, 30 years. I just got off the phone to a client who was asking me a very popular question, which is how much should they invest in an investment property? Well, um, it's, it's a good question because if you spend a million dollars, you'd buy something quite different to if you were going to spend $400,000. What you need to consider is how much do you need that property to pay for itself? How much do you need to use the rental yield or the rent that you get from the tenant to pay for the property? Because the more expensive a property is, the less you'll get from the tenant. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but it's actually true. Our job is to make sure that you can afford to keep that property for as long as you need in order for it to grow in value. So that's the sort of thing that we will think about when we're considering what the right amount is for you to invest in a property.